Hello Stampers, Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you live but not live from Menasha, Wisconsin. So I mentioned to you that tonight on November 17th, is that what? Yes. I am not going to be home. I am uh, probably in Iowa right about now. So I headed down to Iowa to meet up with my friend Dina. And then we headed to the airport in Moline to pick up our friend Barb, who's flying in from Wyoming. And then we all headed over to Lansing, Michigan on Thursday for the big on-stage Stampin' Up! event. So I said that I would try to get a Facebook Live, not live, ready for you and show you some cool projects because... I don't know, you guys have told me how fun you love your Sunday nights and I want I didn't want to disappoint you. So, um, I do have a couple projects to show you and it was kind of a little funny how they came about. I had um, two stamp clubs this week and I told them that I would be making a little set with the box and to watch for that, but total change of plans and it came out of necessity. So I'm going to show you the projects tonight as soon as we flip the camera around. It's a little weird not really being live. Um, there's no comments coming up on my screen. There's nobody saying hi Kelly and it's just not as fun as when you guys are here live. But we're going to make the, the most of it. Um, first thing I wanted to do I have a whole bunch of team members that are headed to various on stages across the country. I've got a couple going to Portland, a couple going to Atlanta, I've got one in Las Vegas, and then I've got, I don't even know, 30 something, 30 some people going to Lansing, Michigan. And um, so for my team members, I like to give them a little gift. I figure if they're investing in their business or investing in their hobby and going to an event like this, that I like to show my appreciation for them doing that and also for being on my team. And so I had t-shirts made up for everybody and this is a Stamp Above Creative Crew, crew Stampin' Up! On Stage November 2019. And this is my logo, this is my brand with the little owl. And um, I just like them to have a little something to commemorate the event because I know they're all gonna be having a fantastic time. All Stampin' Up! events are simply amazing. All the little details that Stampin' Up! puts into these. If you, um, if you ever get a chance to go to one, I highly recommend it because it's over the top. You feel like a queen for the day. So I will be headed to Lansing, Michigan last Thursday because you know this is coming out Sunday. And then Friday night we have what's called Center Stage where Stampin' Up! Um, has their leaders, so you have to be a certain title and above to go to center stage on Friday night, and it is a fabulous, beautiful meal for everybody. They give us gifts. Um, I think we're going to be getting the Occasions mini catalog and also the celebration brochure Friday night. Well, if not, then we'll get it for sure Saturday but we get to see those things early. And it doesn't matter whether you're a business builder or a discount shopper, everybody is treated the same way as far as being able to get these items early. So it's pretty cool. Um, anyhow, I've got t-shirts. These are gonna be handed out. There's a bus going down from, I think it starts at Green Bay and it's going all the way down through the east side of Wisconsin. Um, into Illinois and around to Lansing, Michigan. So there's a whole charter bus filled with stamping up people that are headed to this on stage. And I couldn't be more excited to spend a couple days with them. There are shoebox swaps, there's general swapping. Um, stamping Up puts on a lunch for us on Saturday. And they show us all kinds of demonstrations using new product in the upcoming occasions and celebration um, brochures and, and catalogs. So super, super fun. All right. I told you that I had some projects to share with you and it was out of necessity. And I thought, you know what? I can totally do a Facebook Live, not live, with these projects and show you how fun it is to make some little gifts. So I am going to... 
put my t-shirt over here and I'm going to flip my camera around and show you what I came up with and why I came up with it. So you get motion sickness, close your eyes. We're going to wiggle around here for a little bit. I need to unmirror my camera. There we go. It's kind of weird how I switched to another view, isn't it? And then we're going to do this. Oops, there's my ugly ceiling fan. Okay, there we go. I think I might have turned a light on or something. I don't even know. But I have to be careful when I do this so I don't mess up my camera. So, see this? This is where it all started. So, I have um, two of my team members are being recognized at the center stage Friday night. And when I say recognized, they are... I'm going to be in attendance and that's a really big deal that they have a title high enough to be in attendance for something like that and so I wanted to do something just a little special for them and I headed over to our gourmet candy store this morning and it's called Vanda Walls and for those of you that are local you know exactly what I'm talking about Vanda Walls is um, a great big candy store and they are like gourmet chocolatiers. And I picked up a box of sea salt caramels. You guys remember this little project that I made? This was on one of my um, blog hops. And this is also sea salt, sea salt caramels. And these are from Marquette, Michigan. Connie gave me these. Connie, you started this whole thing. And I thought, you know, I want to do something special for Kathy and Christine. And I thought that some of these gourmet candies would be absolutely perfect. So I went to Vanda Walls, and this is the cool little box that they come in. Now, Vanda Walls does ship all over, I'm sure, the world. So if you want to see that information, it's right here. Vandy Walls Candy, and they're in Appleton, Wisconsin. Can I just say I got to test one of these babies out today, and it was just as amazing as the ones from Donkers in Marquette, Michigan. So, I decided I needed to decorate up this box because, you know, I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and these are for two of my high-level team members and I needed to make this special for them. I wanted them to feel special and know how much I appreciate them. So, here's where it all started. I decided to bring in the gather together because I just haven't had enough of this. <laughs> You guys know how much I love this suite of products. We've got these fabulous framelits and the stamp set. I did an online class and a kit class with this bundle. So I've really had a lot of fun with it. I decided to bring that in. And then this is a special stamp set that Stampin' Up! demonstrators can get. And um, I wanted to use this because it talks about demonstrators. We've got uh, stamping your way to the top, making dreams come true. It's the best job ever. And you guys hear me say that a lot and way better than a text. And so I'm going to be using love it, live it, share it. That's what I pulled out of here to make these gifts for my team members. So I brought in my nesting labels. I never get this right. Oh, stitched nested labels. I was super, super close. I brought these in and I die cut a couple labels. So I've got a gold foil label and also a crumb, crumb cake label. And then I wanted to tell you, in case you want to make something like this for a gift, this would be a great gift to take to Thanksgiving dinner for your hostess if you're going some to somebody else's house, right? Um, I used number one framelit is this one, the bigger one. This is my number one. Remember I numbered these from smallest to largest. This is my number one and this is my number six. So number six is the crumb cake. Number one is the gold foil. Then I'm going to bring in, let's set this box of candy aside. Yeah, it's hard not to eat it, but Look at you guys. Look at how good I've been. I Since I did the video on this, I've only eaten one other um, sea salt caramel. So I might have another one when we're done here tonight because, well, why wouldn't I? But I did test one out today when I went to buy these candies. 
I am going to bring in Early Espresso and Mary Merlot. And then we're gonna do a little, well, we're gonna do a little stamping on here. Oh, I do need black also, Memento Black. I'm gonna do a little bit of stamping on here. And I'm gonna use What a Dazzling Demonstrator. And of course, you could put one of the greetings from the Gather Together, like Season of Thanks or Gather Together. Or May the season bring you smiles and love that will last all year. So anything would work on here for a sentiment. Then I've got a scrap here, and we're going to open up our Mary Merlot. And I'm going to stamp this. Okay, that turned out great. And I'm going to bring in my paper snips. All right, now these little banners are super easy to cut out. And I thought, well, this would just be a good time to tell you or get yickety yak with you because I can't interact with you because you're not really here. <laughs> well, you are now, right? So I just went upstairs a few minutes ago to get the t-shirts so I could show you guys the shirts that I was giving to my team that are going to on stages all over the country. And uh, at the top of the stairs, I wasn't paying attention. One of the cats, Kyle, he's my favorite, he was laying up there and I accidentally stepped on his foot. And then he was mad at me. So I had to chase him downstairs and get him to let me apologize to him because I felt so terrible for stepping on him. And you know, sometimes I just walk around here and I'm way too busy. And that's how that happens, right? Okay, super, super cute. I'm gonna bring in some mini dimensionals here. And, oh, you can see this was really a scrap because they're stamping on the other side couple mini dimensionals on here and then we're going to put this on our label and I'm just going to add this right here. Okay, we are ready to put these two together. There's my glue right here. I lost my tape runner. I don't know what I did with it, but I can't find it any place, which is real weird. Usually I would use tape but we'll just let this dry. I find tape works good with when you're gluing stuff to foil. Um, I'll leave that open, but isn't that pretty? Like so pretty, very elegant, right? Okay, then the next thing that I wanted to do, let me get this closed up before I dip something in it. Look at my hands, I'm dirty again. I haven't even hardly started with you guys and I'm dirty. So then we're gonna take this and our big leaf die and the Memento ink. So we're gonna be using some Stampin' Blend alcohol markers. So I'm gonna stamp this. Then I'm gonna stamp a little pumpkin. And we're going to die cut both of these. Where's my dies? I just had them right here. There's dies to match both of these. So we're gonna die cut that. And we're gonna die cut this. And then I'm also going to be die cutting some of these out of various colors, and I'll talk to you about those in just a second. So hang tight. And voila. I know, it's like magic, right? <laughs> How does she do that so fast? She's magic. Okay, I've got Old Olive and Pumpkin Pie Stampin' Blend. So I always like to use the darker one first. Oh, and I need a brown. I'm going to use light soft suede. So I'm just going to take um, Stampin' Up's lines here. These would be your darker shading lines. And if you just use the artwork that they give you to do your shading, you're going to be like an amazing artist. So I always like to use my dark one first. And then I come in with the lighter pumpkin pie. And once you have this all colored in, then you're just going to keep blending it until you don't see those stark lines on that darker color. And that's going to give you some beautiful shading in here. It kind of just blends it all together. 
Let me do this one and then I'll get it a little closer so you can see better. I know some you would like me to zoom in my camera, but when you're on a Facebook Live, zooming in is not an option. So here we go. Let's see if I can get some more light in here. Isn't that pretty? It's just beautiful. Yeah, and I, you know, I just colored it. Nothing fancy or special there except that it's an alcohol marker. And then I'm going to come in and do the same thing here. Yeah, um, today, <laughs> so I told you guys about the fact that my husband bought a new riding lawnmower. He finally broke down and bought a new one. So he's always had used ones, and every time he gets one from somebody or buys a used one, he always has to like do a whole bunch of work on it. He's like a maintenance freak. And he has to do a whole bunch of work on it to get it running like it should run. And I'm like, whatever. <laughs> I'm lucky to have somebody like that, so I shouldn't make fun of him, but I do anyways. Um, anyways, so he, and again, I'm just following the artwork that Stampin' Up! has given me here to do all of my shading with the darker of the old olive. So um, he got this riding lawnmower. They delivered it a couple weeks ago, and he wanted to get the lawn mowed before it snowed one last time because it was, you know, the grass was needed to kind of be mowed. And he went to mow it, and I told you guys about this if you listen to that video, that he went to, well, first of all, the battery was dead when he went to start it, so that made him angry. And then when he got it running, he went to engage the blade, and every time he engaged the blade, the motor would quit. Yeah, brand new riding lawnmower. And my husband is, I now don't tell him I said this because we all make fun of him. He's a label whore. <laughs> That's what the kids call him. He likes his name, name brand stuff. He doesn't like, he doesn't buy generic, he doesn't buy cheap things, and that's probably why we've never gotten a new mower because he wants a really good one and they're pretty expensive. So anywho, the um, every time he engages the blades, the motor quits. So he was mad about that, and then he thought, and he needed to get the lawn mowed. Now I'm using the lighter old olive. So he went and grabbed the old mower and that battery was dead. So he had to charge that and then he got the lawn mowed and he was just cranky and crabby and trying to get ready to go on his hunting trip to Nebraska, which by the way, he got a huge eight pointer, gorgeous, gorgeous deer. And um, we ate some of it the other day and it twice actually, and it was delicious. I love venison. I grew up on it. That's what we ate because we were kind of poor. <laughs> um, so anyhow, they came and took his mower away to figure out what the heck was going on with it. You guys know that I'm just blending now, right? And um, they brought it back today. Oh my Lord. As they are taking it off of the truck, he gets on it and he goes to move the blade down from a two or up or something, down or up. And when he did it, it started clanging really loud. He's like, what the heck is that? And they're like, I don't know, we'll have to take a look at it. So I'm just gonna use tape to tape a bunch of this stuff on the back of um, this label. Now I'm gonna push this green leaf up there pretty far, okay? Isn't that just pretty by itself? So then he goes to back the mower off of the trailer and he gets it down on the ground and when he engages the blade, it quits. <laughs> like this was the last straw. Okay, let me talk about this a little bit. <laughs> um, we've got Mary Merlot, Cajun Craze, and Old Olive and a little, um, oh yeah, I said Cajun Craze, right? That's all the colors. So I'm just gonna be tucking these all over behind this label. That's all I'm doing. So anyways, he goes to engage the um, mower blade and the mower quits. And that was the problem they took it back to fix. And he was not in the mood for that. He told the guy, um, he said, you get this thing back on this trailer and you take it back to your store. I want my money back. This is ridiculous. And uh, yeah, so we do not have a new riding lawnmower anymore. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh because I know how frustrated he was. Like, it was crazy, right? So anyways, he said, when spring comes, he's going to buy the simplicity mower that he wanted. 
because he bought something a little bit less than what he really would have chosen to get. But can you like feel his frustration? You know, he's so excited and he finally gets something brand new. We always buy used stuff. And then it's like a piece of junk. <laughs> I felt bad because it's a little hardware store and we try to give them our business. You know, I'd rather buy local and small instead of great big huge Home Depot or whatever. Is this not gorgeous, you guys? So all I did was just layer all these leaves in here. And what am I going to do with this pumpkin? Wow. Let me show you. I'm going to grab a dimensional. Got some edges here. So we don't have a riding lawnmower or a new one. We have the old one yet, and it'll be fine. I'm going to put this pumpkin right here. And are you just dying now? <gasps> so pretty. Look, I even stamped on my arm. <laughs> That's funny. Um, then I'm going to take this and we're getting rid of this because I don't like this. It's cheesy. And then while this ribbon is pretty, it is not, well, that doesn't work. It is not what I wanted, but I do like the Van de Waal label. So we're going to save that because that's classy. Throw that ribbon in the garbage. I'm going to bring in the Come Together Ribbon Combo Pack because I think this is going to be absolutely gorgeous. And I'm gonna wrap this around here just like they had it, just like that. And, you know, I'm just kind of illustrating how you can take something that's store-bought and make it homemade and really, you know, you could personalize this. I know that Kathy and Christine are gonna love this. And they're going to love the effort that I made to make it for them, right? Because that's what it's all about. It's, it's all about the effort. You know, like, you give gift cards for Christmas. I know people like them, but they're boring. They're boring, and they don't take any imagination. But if you give a gift card with a box of candy like this, that is cool, right? buy a box of candy and do a gift card holder. Or you could put a gift card holder right on top of here or on the back or whatever. Okay, I am going to bring in some more dimensionals. And I just love making stuff like this. And the people that I give it to, they really love it too. And it's funny because I have some stamping customers that are like, no, I just make cards making cards is great but why wouldn't you use all your tools that you already have and you've invested in you know let's face it this stuff is not ex inexpensive why wouldn't you use that to do more like I just love doing more so I make a tremendous amount of gifts for Christmas my stepdaughter Anna told me um, last year in December I had a piece of framed art and I actually made it for Haley and Jared and Anna said to me, she goes, Kelly, I know it's probably too late this year, but would you make a piece of framed art for me every year for Christmas because it is my favorite home decor item to pull out and decorate with? What do you guys think? <gasps> Isn't that so pretty? So I got that one. This one is only different because I use Cajun craze for this big leaf. I am going to set this at the table where Christine and Kathy are going to be sitting down for the center stage dinner Friday night as my special gift to them, letting them know how much I appreciate them. Okay, I have another project to show you because I couldn't stop there. You guys, oh wait, I forgot this. Oh, I forgot a couple things, hang on. I got ahead of myself, I was so excited. I'm gonna put this right back down here just like it was on the other box. And we have some of these holiday rhinestone basic jewels. And I thought these were beautiful colors that will go nicely with the colors that I chose here. Whoops, whoops, hang on. Hitchhiker. Ugh. Here we go. Oh, you know what? I need to plug my phone in. You know what happens if your phone goes dead in a Facebook Live? It, like, stops the video. So, hang on. 
seems like I have a lot of shadows in here tonight. I hope this is turning out okay. All right, there we go. Dazzling, right? What a dazzling demonstrator. Put some dazzling on there. What other color could I use here? Let's do one of these lighter blue ones too. I think I'll just put that right up there. Very random. Okay, now we're ready to move on to the next project. So this other project was all about necessity also because as long as I was at Vandemals and I was buying all the delicious candy, I thought I should really get some gifts for my besties. <laughs> so here we go. This is what I came up with. I've got a little box of sea salt, salt caramels. So I'm assuming there's probably four in here. And I thought this is just a little token of my appreciation for their friendship. Okay. And I am going to bring in some stitched shape circles. Now these are the largest ones and I'm going to use this cute little penguin set for these. So we've got Memento Black ink here. Let me get this out of the way. Memento Black ink and our cute little penguins. We used this tonight at Stamp Club and oh my gosh, they loved this set. They just thought it was the cutest thing ever. And here comes another one. I'm using all the penguins. I've got to make three of these labels. I think I'll go right over here. Oh, I don't like the way that one turned out. Hang on. That one wasn't as crisp. There we go. Okay. Then, we've got that done. Now what I'm going to do, where is... Oh, hang on. Is that black? Nope. i got to grab some black. I just needed a little black scrap. So I'm going to bring in my Versamark. First of all, I'm going to do my embossing buddy. And then I've got Versamark. And then I thought the saying in here that says, you're so cool, I thought that would be really cute on here to give to my cool friends. And so we need one, two, three of these. Did you guys see my video the other day where I burned my hand right here on my heat tool? Yeah. Keep the guard on your heat tool because otherwise it's pretty dangerous. Oops, I'm holding my finger now. There we go. So we've got white embossing powder on black cardstock. Then we're going to heat set these. So hang tight, this is going to get loud. And again, I'm using my really, really old heat tool because my other one is packed up for stamp clubs. When I get back from Michigan, I have stamp club on Tuesday night and Wednesday night. So I gotta keep stuff packed up so I don't forget stuff. And if you're in my stamp clubs, you're going, Kelly, you forget stuff. Don't, who are you kidding? <laughs> and I do, but I'm only about 10 minutes from home, so I can usually get everybody started and run home and grab it. Okay, then we've got our classic label punch, and we're going to bring that in, and we're going to punch this out, just like this, like this. Today, Haley sent me a text message with a picture in it. Um, she's going to be Mike Wazowski for, Chris, or for Christmas, for Halloween next year. We, I made her a Mike Wazowski costume years ago. And um, she's going to be Mike Wazowski for Halloween, and her husband, Jared, is going to be Sully from Monsters Incorporated. And then, hang on, I'm looking. Oh, black dimensionals. Use the black dimensionals on the black pieces. And she wants this little costume for the baby. So she goes, you better start making this costume, Mom. <laughs> okay. Here are our little labels. So we've got those ready to roll. Then I need a scrap of white. This will work. And red ink. Because we're going to stamp up some scarves. 
and I would need three scarves, but I already have a couple of them done. Isn't that pretty? This is like our distinctive pattern that looks real life. You can really see the threads and everything in here. So yeah, I've got a Halloween costume to make for the baby. And we don't know the baby's name yet, but it's a girl. We all know that because I spread that all over the place. If you missed that, you had to be living under a rock. <laughs> So we're excited about the baby girl and I will definitely make the Halloween costumes. I used to sew like all my clothes. I made all my dad's shirts when he was alive. He called me his personal tailor. He would only wear Western shirts. He was a truck driver. He wore cowboy boots and Western shirts and I made all of them. And it was just always my special thing. I would make him one for his birthday, one for Father's Day, and two for Christmas every single year. Okay, we're going to put some mini dimensionals on the back of that, and I'm going to use the white ones. Now, if you're wondering about these black ones, these are in the holiday mini catalog, and I think they're back by the Halloween stuff. But if you're in my online store, you can just do a search for black dimensionals, and you will find them. And they come in a pack. I think you get two sheets of the mini and two sheets of the big dimensionals. So it's pretty cool. Now, we got dimensionals on the back of our scarf. I just love doing this to the penguin because it really sets that penguin off, doesn't it? Yeah. And then I already have a couple more of these done. Let me get so much junk out of the way. All kinds of garbage. Did you hear that? I just threw that right on the floor. Mm -hmm. I did that. I vacuumed the other day. It was impressive. <laughs> yeah. And I had a handyman guy come over. We're going to have start having some work done on our house because we're planning on selling it. Haley's talked about buying it. She wants to keep the swimming pool in the family, and well, so do we. But just in case she doesn't decide to buy it, we're going to fix it up. It needs a lot of work. I'm going to get some rooms painted and stuff like that. I had a handyman stop by the other day because I just don't have time to do things like that anymore. And Steve doesn't paint. I don't, he's not allowed, actually. Um, did you see? Here we go. Yeah, Steve's not allowed to paint anymore. <laughs> he doesn't do a very good job. And he's Mr. Meticulous. But he gets this attitude going, and he says, this is not the Taj Mahal. I'm like, no, but you don't need to leave paint dripping down the wall. Like, what is wrong with you? Okay, this is what our little penguin's going to look like. And then I got some of our Let It Snow Designer Series paper. And this is however wide you need it to be, right? I need it to be wide enough so that it fits on this box. And um, the box is three inches, so this is like two and three quarters. And it's going to fit around here like a belly van. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put a little bit of tear and tape on one end. I like to use that anytime I'm making boxes or stuff like this. I don't want it to fall apart. Especially when I'm giving it to other Stampin' Up! demonstrators. Like that would be really bad, right? You'd be like, wow, she doesn't know which adhesive to work. Oh, I shouldn't have pulled that off. That was dumb. Don't pull that off yet. Okay, so I'm just going to start wrapping this around here. Now, you don't want to wrap whatever you're going to use this for. You don't want to wrap it too tight because it's a belly band, and I want them to be able to pull this off or slide it off, I should say. So don't get it too tight. And let's make sure... And it will slide. Yep, it's a sliding. There we go. It's going to come right off. I'm not going to pull it all the way off. But you can pinch on those corners good to kind of give them a little sharp edge. Let's see if I can center that. Okay, here we go. Where did I? Here's our penguin. Now next weekend is opening deer hunting in Wisconsin. So I just want to tell you that I do not know if I will be able to go live because I'm going to be at my mom's house. I'm going to try it, but the streaming quality at her house is not that great because she lives out in the country. 
So we're going to see how that goes. But I will be taking my Facebook Live projects with me for the weekend. And I'm going to actually stay up there a couple extra days over the weekend because we're going to be hunting. It's opening gun hunting in Wisconsin. And that is, I'm talking about on the 24th. Aren't these stinking adorable? Okay, hang on. Um, we got to do these now. And I tried using a white layer for this and putting, uh, like Coastal Cabana ink. I used that. I tried that. I didn't like it so much. Then I tried real red ink. Didn't like it so much. And I thought, you know what? I bet you this would be really cool if I did it on black and white embossed it. It's really going to pop. And it does. So I'm just adding these little things. My friends are so cool. And they're going to love it that I'm calling them so cool. And somebody better share one of these with me because I don't have any for myself. I'm just going to put this right down here. There we go. Here's my fourth one. Oh, hang on. One more thing. I want to put some of these on here. And we're going to do... The red and the green and the aqua colored one. That looks good. Yeah, I like that. What do you guys think? Kind of dazzling, right? This one I'm going to do with this. And I'm going to do all aqua on this one. They're so pretty. These are called Holiday Rhinestone Basic Jewels. So if you're going to put in an order, add them to your order. You're going to love them. And I think on this one, I'm going to do all red. There we go. Okay, I have, let me get all this out of the way. I have my gifts ready to go. And I need to pack it tonight because I'm leaving at 8 o'clock in the morning. That's early for me. That means I need to get up at 7. Oh my goodness. That will be an early morning for Kelly. I usually don't get up till 9. And I know that sounds like what a sleepy head, but I'm usually up till 2 or 3 in the morning. So it's all relative, right? Look at that. Is this not just the coolest little gifts? Now don't forget, you guys, if you're watching this... Um, head back to my Facebook page and share this. Share this for me. Share this video. I really appreciate that. If you're on YouTube, you can share the video. Don't forget, if you're placing an order, to use this host code if your order is under $150. If it's over $150, don't use the code. Stampin' Up's going to give you some rewards, and I want you to have that. But please share my video on YouTube. Share it on Facebook. That really helps me out. It helps spread me all over the place. Oh, I got my cord in the way. I'm so sorry. Didn't even look at that. Um, but I always appreciate your orders. And uh, sorry I couldn't be live with you tonight. But you know that I had a really good weekend. <laughs> I'm with my Stamping Up friends. So, gather together fabulous bundle. If you didn't get this yet, it's a must-have. Here's another project that I have with that. It's just laying right here. Look at that. So oh, I think this is, yep, this is one of our little nugget. These hold um, our little uh, Hershey nuggets. Another great project using the Gather Together. And then I have this cute card that I made with the penguins. Oh, let me grab my envelope too. It just happens to be laying over here on the corner of my table. And this is actually, oh, this is a card. I made a gift card holder too. I don't know where, oh, that's packed up for my stamp clubs. But this particular stamp set, which I don't even know where it went now. What happened to my penguins? Did you guys see the penguins? Here they are. This penguin set is called Playful Penguins, and it's fantastic. It's got little little hat in here, um, always by your side. That's nice. A New Year's sentiment, and of course, Marius wishes nothing warms the heart quite like a good friend and the little bow tie. That's stinking adorable, too. So, there you go. I am glad that I thought of this. I'm glad that I was able to do a Facebook Live not live for you tonight. 
and now I am going to upload this and head my butt to bed. All right, you guys, I hope you have a fantastic week. Please watch my blog, www.estampabum.com, for my Wednesday tip video. And then I am probably going to have a video again on Friday, too. So have yourselves a fabulous week until I see you again. Don't forget on YouTube, click down here to subscribe to my blog or to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You don't want to miss anything I have coming out. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for spending a little bit of time with me tonight. Good night.